Noah here from American Muscle. One of the best ways to really transform your Mustang's presence is upgrading the exterior lighting and specifically going to an aftermarket set of headlights. Now on the road today, you're gonna to be seeing tons of tinted headlights, projectors with black housings, all sorts of different kinds of daytime running light designs. And if you're looking to get a set of headlights for your 18 and newer Mustang that check all of those boxes, then these Nova Series LED projector headlights will really be exactly what you're looking for. Again, we have that super popular dark design that you're seeing everywhere on cars on the road today. Now that comes from the color of the housing. And in this case, we're looking at an alpha black housing with a clear lens over that. And that means the lens allows that light to come through easily, unlike some of the darker tinted or smoked lenses or just a tinted cover that you can buy to put over the stock headlights. Now, these headlights also feature three projector lenses on each side and the bulbs behind those guys are LED. So you know these are going to be focused and super bright. And the turn signals are amber, of course, and the daytime running lights are white and have that awesome angry eyebrow look. On to construction, we are looking at a Nova series light, so you know it's gonna be top notch. We have industrial grade polypropylene housings that are weather sealed, and they provide a nice backing to everything that's super sturdy and resilient to engine bay heat. Then around the front, they have impact resistant polycarbonate lenses. And then lastly, the projectors have Osram LEDs inside. These guys are designed to be plug and play. They just drop right in where those factory ones came out. Coming in around $1,300, these are going to be right at the top of the price range in terms of headlights out there for your Mustang. I will say though, with that higher price tag, you are getting a lot of headlights. Anything Nova series in general is really going to be fantastic in terms of quality. So if you're in the market for top of the line headlights and you have a larger budget, these really will be a great choice for you to consider. Installing these headlights is gonna be pretty easy for just about anybody. We're only looking at a difficulty of one out of three wrenches because these guys do, like I said, just plug and play. Since it's such a simple install, you should be able to get it done in about an hour you're not looking at too long of an install time either. Speaking of install, let's head over to that install bay and take a look at the process step by step. The tools you'll need for this project are a ratchet, a 12 inch extension, a five and a half millimeter socket, a seven, an eight, a 10, and a 13 millimeter socket, a universal joint, and a trim removal tool. Hi everyone. Today we're installing a set of headlights on our Mustang. But before we do that, let's watch a short video on how to uninstall the stock headlights first. All right, so the first step in our install with your hood popped is to take off the rad support cover with a pop clip removal tool. Go ahead and line up each of these pop clips and take them out one by one. Then you can grab the cover and remove it off of your car. Next up, we're gonna remove all of the bolts holding on our front bumper, starting with these small five and a half millimeter bolts at either side. Grab a five and a half millimeter socket and a ratchet and get these off. Moving on to the next bolt, this one's an eight millimeter, so grab an eight millimeter socket and your ratchet and let's get this off. Okay, so now we need to get access to the back of our bumper through the wheel well. Uh, we need to remove a pop clip that should be right here. Ours does not have one. Once that's removed, you just need to grab the liner and pull it back to expose. To expose two nuts right about here. All right, so right here, this may be hard to see while we're removing them, but these are the nuts that you want to remove in order to separate the bumper from the fender. Grab your 10 millimeter socket, 
and remove these nuts. All right, repeat that process on the other side. Now you can take more of the clips out to get more of the liner out. You can even take your wheel off if you'd like, but you can get to it without removing too many things. So we're gonna try to do that here. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and remove the two nuts that hold your fender to your bumper. Again, you might not see these, but they're in the exact same location as the other side. All right, so at this point, we have the car in the air. Now, you don't need a lift to do this. We just want to give you a better shot at the underneath of the car to see what you're supposed to be doing. Grab a seven millimeter socket. We're going to remove all of the bolts that are holding on the bottom of the bumper. All right, so at this point, we can release the side of the bumper. So right in between those two nuts that you took off, there is like a pop clip attached to a bracket. So you need to release this to release the bumper. You can go in from the side, but if you're concerned about the paint and you still have the wheel well liner out of the way, you can get out from the back here. So just go in between the bracket and release it. Repeat that on the other side. Right, at this point, we can lift the bumper off the top of these posts up here to release it. Pull it down and out of the way, and you should be able to see several connectors. Locate the connectors holding on your bumper still. Go ahead and press and release them, one on each side. Repeat that on the other side. All right, now you can pull the bumper off of your car. So now the bolts holding on the headlight are exposed. We can use our 13 millimeter socket to take off the one on the side. Grab a 10 millimeter socket if you can find one for the bolt on top, closest to the rad support. Then there's one additional bolt all the way at the bottom underneath your headlight. Go ahead and wiggle your headlight loose. Release the connector on the back. And also release this clip that holds on the wiring harness. And before we can actually install the light on the vehicle, we've got to install this adapter harness that's provided in the kit for the turn signals. So to do that, we've got a yellow wire here on the back of the light, a white wire on this adapter harness, and we're just going to plug those two together so that they latch. And then we're going to take one end of our adapter harness, the longer end, plug that into our turn signal harness. Then we can go ahead and reconnect our headlight harness. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the light. We'll just put this back in like we took the old one out and we'll secure it with the original hardware.
Now we'll go ahead and tighten down the ones in front with our 10 millimeter socket. And we'll tighten down the one on the side with our 13 millimeter socket. Now you can repeat that whole process for the other side. Now that we've got our headlight installed, we can go ahead and reconnect our turn signal harness. So remember, this has got the adapter harness on it. So we're just gonna plug this in to our turn signal on the bumper, and then we can go ahead and test, make sure everything works the way it's supposed to. Then we can put it back together. We'll just go ahead and plug this in and do the same thing for the other side. Now with our lights all hooked up, we go ahead and lift our bumper up and put it back on the car. Now we can go ahead and reinstall all the bolts and screws and get this thing back together. And with our bumper sitting on the car, we can go ahead and line up the side of the bumper with the fender, insert it into the holes. And now we're gonna make it a little bit easier. We're gonna install these nuts that go on the top of these studs on the top of the bumper here. We're gonna go in through the engine compartment here. Now, as you can see under the hood here, there's this little triangle opening right near the core support for the radiator. If you read, it's hard to get the camera in there to be able to see this, especially with my hand in there. But if you reach down inside, you can feel the two studs that hold these nuts on. So you can go ahead and put them on from the top here. Save you a little bit of aggravation trying to reach through the fender well. And now you can tighten them down with your 10 millimeter socket. Now you will probably need to use a swivel joint on the socket or have the socket itself with a swivel head on it. So now we'll just put our, our extension with our swivel on it. Now you can repeat that process for the other side. All right, now we're gonna install our two five and a half millimeter screws, one on each end, and then our eight millimeters across the top of the bumper. All right, now we'll go ahead and tighten down all of our eight millimeters with our eight millimeter socket. Now we'll tighten down our two five and a half millimeters. We'll get to the belly pan right after we reinstall the cover for our core support. So we're just gonna reuse the push pins that we took out when we uninstalled it. All right, now we can go ahead and install our screws around the front of the belly pan using our seven millimeter socket. All right, now we'll reinstall our push pins into our wheel well. And 
And then we've got the one right up here at the top that we just can't get the camera angle in there to see, but you'll remember where it's at. And make sure you get the ones on the other side as well. And that wraps up our review and install of the Nova Series LED projector headlights with the Alpha Black housing and clear lens for the 18 to current Mustang GT and EcoBoost. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.